Dean and I got there and uh, we walked right in. There was no issues in the door whatsoever. And uh, I honestly felt like I was at uh, one of those waterfront clubs, like Love or something like that. Like. I was I was telling yeah. Dean I was expecting yeah. like metal detectors when we <laughs> when we walked in, but <laughs> yeah, you know you would think yeah. just because of the proximity to, to Lima, to Lotus, to K Street, it would be a similar vibe. Right, right. But um, it didn't feel like it. it on the night we went, <laughs> like we walked in and um, the place felt generic, almost to the point where. You know, like you said, a mini version of, uh, of a like mega love. club. Yeah, club. right. Yeah, it, mega yeah. club is yeah. a good way yeah. to describe yeah. it. Except it, it had all the makings of a mega club, but but in a smaller place, shrunken, yeah. Yeah. shrunken. And actually, it was pretty packed. Yeah, definitely. I mean that's a thing. It's like it's there's you know apparently you don't have to really go all out and spend a lot of money decorating a place and making sure it's really like intricate and ornate because you know you open up a four story club and you play hip hop and uh, house music and people will flood in. First two floors were hip hop. Right, hip hop on the first floor. And then they were playing the same music on the second floor. Okay. And then house music was on the third and fourth. The third floor? Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, this is house. Okay, I think so all the Asians were like on the techno. Okay, there floor. you go. <laughs> okay, I mean there was like, it's, it's funny because we were talking about diversity at the other place and it was very like an integrated diversity, yeah. but at these like, these mini mega clubs or at like the mega clubs, it's like segregation goes on by music and that's what happened on these different floors, like you know, it's just like people flock to different kinds of music and I mean, yeah. it, was, it was no different actually at this club, so. Probably now, now that I, I gotta say, the yeah. one thing I did like is you know, apart from the bathrooms, the service was pretty good. The bartender okay. was cool. Okay. She got us a drink right away. People at the door, there was not, not a lot of go. Okay. So. And I yeah, think there nice. are um, more than more bars than normal. I think there was one on the bottom. The second floor had two, I think. Yeah. yeah. Which which is kind of cool, you know, yeah. if you don't want to um, wait around too long for a drink. Um, yeah. You've got some choices. That's true, actually. So, okay. Okay. you know, there are some redeeming qualities, I suppose, yeah. to the place, all in all. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a pretty young crowd, I mean, especially the, given the music you're talking about. It was, on the it was, side or? it was strange because yeah. it was kind of mixed. It was like, I thought it was, there were some younger people, some, yeah. it was kind of a mix. Okay. You know, the only similarity was that everyone had black pants on. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> not to be that was the only, yeah. <laughs> that was the only unifying quality I found in the play. So that's Park Bar. Park Bar. So, after Park Bar, we... Went to Left Bank and met up with Todd. Yeah. Yep. Todd talked and really joined us in and give us in that. <laughs> Left thing. Bank. Well, I guess you guys have been there for a little bit before I got there. Um, got in, paid the cover, 